How bad do you want it? This is the question that I posed to you all back in 2019. This was a gut check, a litmus test to see how far you are willing to go to take control of your life. Every single year, the world expresses its desire to be better, to do more. We vow to be bold, to take risks, to really dream again, but for most of us, this feeling is fleeting. But why is it so hard to change the things that bring us so much pain? The things that remind us that things didn't quite go according to plan. The things that rub into our faces that others have succeeded where we could or that shine a light onto the empty cavern that exists between the life that we currently live and the one that we always imagined. The reason that it's so hard is that in doing so and actually achieving our dreams that we have to acknowledge that the uh, formula for success was always extremely simple. We have to admit that we lived in agony for so long all because we refused to practice a little bit of hard work, perseverance, and discipline. We have to admit that we sabotaged ourselves by believing that luck as opposed to grit was the only way to turn the tides in our favor. And finally, we would have to acknowledge that we've always been a single decision away from our dreams. But not in 2020. Forget the talk. This year we're about action. You're about action. You're about movement. You've been hungry for a long time. Now it's time to eat. This year we fight. This year we sacrifice. This year we let the opportunity outweigh the obligation. Everything in life must be paid for. And this year we're here to pay the tab. So I don't know if you've seen it or not, but there's this movie called Gattaca from the 90s. It's a pretty, pretty great movie. And uh, in the movie, there are these brothers, Anton and Vincent. Anton is the older, superior brother. Uh, he's, he's almost perfect. He finds a lot of success in the things that he does. Uh, he's almost too perfect. And Vincent is the younger, inferior brother. Um, he kind of longs to find the success that his brother has. And in the movie, they compete a lot. And they play this game of chicken. So they hop into this channel of water. They swim out as far as they can. Whoever swims the farthest wins. And as you can probably guess, Vincent always loses. Uh, but throughout the movie, Vincent dedicates his life to becoming better. He becomes disciplined. Uh, he fights for the thing that doesn't come naturally to him. And at the end of the movie, uh, they play a, a, a final game of chicken. And during this time, there's actually a big storm. Um, and so they're swimming out. They swim out farther than they've ever swam before. And uh, Anton stops and says, hey, I think we've gone a little bit too far. Uh, the storm's bad, maybe we should swim back. Vincent says, now we've gone too far. Uh, we might as well swim to the other side. And uh, so they keep swimming, swim a little bit farther. And Anton stops again. He's, he's, he's losing. And he says, uh, he says, Vincent, how are you doing this? How have you done any of this? And uh, Vincent gives one of the best answers I've ever heard. He turns and he says, you want to know how I've, uh, how I've done this? Um, I never saved anything for the swim back. And this year, we're going to be like Vincent. And we're going to move. But we're not going to save a damn thing for the swim back.